Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Undertale, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we fought this guy to my right, uh, Papyrus, and he he proved to be, like, the most difficult fight we've had so far, right? Even though I said he was pretty easy at first. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that we had to do with him. Um, also, we asked him out on a date. I guess we are a girl. I still don't know at this point. Someone leave a comment. Are we a girl or are we a boy? We gotta be a girl, right? Um... Anyways, um, I wanted to come back here and see what would happen if we talked to Papyrus. Oh, his house has Christmas lights. Was that always like that? I'm not too sure, but anyways, let's talk to him and see what happens. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay, good. This is what I was hoping for. I was hoping something unique like this would happen and he wouldn't just say something. He's gonna lead us right back to his house, isn't he? My house! <laughs> oh, Undertale. I just realized my cursor is on the screen. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Can you guys see this? If you can't, that's good, but I'm gonna move it off any just in case. Uh, how's it going, Papyrus? Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Okay, can we activate this book? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Why not? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside, there's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. And that's a joke on quantum physics. If you don't understand that at all, I suggest looking up quantum physics on, uh, I guess Wikipedia. That would be a good primer. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Well, wasn't that fortunate. It's a saggy old couch. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Sprinkles is not really a balanced uh, diet, Papyrus. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Interesting, when we go inside here, he starts moving towards me. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay, don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. Hey, that's the uh, brand of cream that he was putting behind his ears, right? Except he doesn't have ears. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. All right, should we go upstairs or in the kitchen first? I think we'll go in the kitchen first. Let's see what Papyrus does since he's moving over here. I guess he wants to watch me, make sure I don't mess with anything. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. This is optional, right? Like, you don't have to be here. There's so much detail put into this particular scene that it makes me think you do have to come here. Sand, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. You already told me that. Uh, forget it. I wonder if we can go chase down that dog. Aha, interested in my few food museum? That's a good thing to call a, uh, a uh, refrigerator. Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with the containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Alrighty. Let's go upstairs, shall we? What do we have up over here? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Not yet. Not that type of girl, Papyrus. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bone. The door is locked, and there's some cool flames coming out of the bottom there that are changing colors. Alright, let's go ahead and go inside Papyrus' room. Okay. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Oh, that's... everyone's gotta start somewhere, Papyrus. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Papyrus is a really popular character, though, online, isn't he? Like, I've seen a lot of artwork before I even started playing this game. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. 
That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag Neo? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Uh, well, <laughs> this, well, I guess Papyrus doesn't know every human has a skeleton inside of them. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. Okay. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream, so instead I cruise while I snooze. And how about this door? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yeah. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Well, I guess he was right. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yeah, why not? Okay. Dating start. No, what? Why am I fighting you? This is a date. Or is it? Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. And C is A, right? For me? Or is it B? Uh, start? There we go. Oh my god, what is going on here? Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <laughs> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Look at that face. Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Um... Yeah, sure. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. Your dating power. Look at that dating power, wow. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me out on a date. Behold. Wow, what a cool dude. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. Are his shoulders basketballs? No. A genuine compliment. You can't beat my dating power, Papyrus. I'm just too strong in that respect. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. So Z is A, right? Um, uh, it, it doesn't want me to... Uh, there's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Okay, uh, let's see. How about your face? My hat? My hat! My hat! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Is that freaking spaghetti? Spaghetti, uh-huh. This dude is way too obsessed with spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti finally aged in an oaken cask. What? <laughs> this isn't whiskey. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Uh, okay. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. There's no way this is optional, right? I mean, this is... 
this is way too much. It's time for me to express my feelings. Although RPGs are one of the, the genres of video games that usually have pretty big optional uh, things, including side quests and bosses and stuff like that. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? No, it's just me, actually. Oh, shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Oh my god, that was a roller coaster from start to finish. Holy crap. Okay, um, I think we're done with Papyrus's house. In fact, I don't even remember where we're supposed to go, um, in terms of the last episode. Like, what path remains open to us. Man, I did not expect that in this episode, that's for sure. Okay. So this is not Sans house because they both live together. I don't know why they wouldn't have. So we already went upwards, so we need to go this way, right? This is where we fought Papyrus last episode. Can we go over here? Yeah, we can. Everything's getting more icicly, but we can continue on. Okay, let's see what this is on the ground here. Doesn't look like we can activate it, uh, however. I guess it's just a part of the texture. I wonder if that... If those ice cubes have any relevance at all. Okay, we've seen this person before, right? Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> um, I would assume this person is talking about Undyne because it has been confirmed that Undyne is a woman, right? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Okay. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Still only level 5. How's it going, Sans? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean twi means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Oh, but I wanted to interact with that thing. Okay, fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Why would I want just fries? I'm, I'm actually pretty freaking hungry in real life right now. Like, I'm recording this at about the time I eat lunch, so uh, this is getting me even more hungry. But uh, let's go with a burger. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think of my brother? I don't know what to pick. I mean, he, of course he's uncool, but I don't want to sound like a douche. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool, too, if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh, well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit? You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry, anyways. 
Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight, but the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Well, we just did, right? Oh, he's talking about Flowey, right? At the beginning of the game. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. No, I wasn't talking about that. That's what I thought of originally, but I, I meant the flower that uh, wanted me to die. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... 10,000 G. No way, Jose. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> okay. Alright, we've regained control of our character. It's interesting that they did differentiate the two burgers. The one on the left does have ketchup all over it. And, uh, oh no, he actually did say something different. Are all these people going to say something different? Sans is a sentry, but don't let its title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Huh, do we want to talk to everyone in here again? I would assume that you guys don't want to see that. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Eh, we'll just speed through it. Sans is interesting. He, t he has told me about all kinds of incredible foods, but despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the... Oh wait, he's already said this. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Okay, so I think we need to head back to that Echo Flower, and I will do just that. Okay, let's uh, see what ha uh, Sans has to say again. Let's hang out again sometime. And this appears to be a door. Okay, we can't actually interact with that. Let's save the game again, and let's move forward. What do we have here? This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. So we have a box lover and a box hater. Use the box? Yeah. But there is nothing inside. Okay, can we go over here? We can. I would assume we don't want to get hit by that stuff, and I assume that if we were to get hit by that stuff, it would drop us down here. Or maybe not. They're disappearing, and here we have an echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. So I guess the echo flower serves to be like a hint system? wonder what would happen if we got hit by one of those, uh... I guess they're glaciers or something? Well, not glaciers, but ice cubes. Okay, there is a secret back here. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah, of course. You got the old tutu. And here we have some more of these, like, glowing mushrooms. Um, is that an item that we can equip? Old tutu. You equip the old tutu. Notice that our actual sprite doesn't change no matter what we equip. Okay, let's go over here. And our sprite has changed now. There's like a shadow in front of us. I wonder if a Pokemon's gonna pop out of here. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Alrighty, well, 
I guess that was Undyne. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. Ha. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end this episode here. Of course, we've just met Undyne. I don't think that's the ultimate antagonist of this series, right? I think there's a couple of guys that are bigger. And I'm still unsure about that flower guy, because we've seen him twice now. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.